Hi there. Today I want to show you, well, some parts, which are parts from a music instrument. I don't even know what it's called, but they're about 100 years old or so. As you can see, some yeah, some people will know what it is, what it is for as a customer. They are made out of German silver, they're called, which is a nickel silver, um, yeah, nick nickel silver basically. So I, I need to polish them all and all basically silver plate, proper silver plate, not nickel silver. Um, so I just want to show what the process is and how I do it. So normally I polish them all. Some of them are really bad, like this one is quite rough as well. And or here is really rough, so it needs to be very, very good polish. The, the, the work what you do before before you play it. If I would play this now, this would look horrible. Would look really bad. It must be shiny. They want to have a shiny. They're all really in a bad condition. Really bad. Um, so I'll show you how. Uh, I take this one. Or one of them here or maybe this one this is very rough but also this one is very rough I take this one and show you how to prepare it properly with a polishing rod and then the rear is not important but I'll show this in a minute so first of all I'll show you the setup Got a couple of things here, a couple of machines, what I use, some plaster as well, and things like this. Right, there are the polishing mobs. This is a machine, you can get them from, I've got them from Machine Mart, Clark, there's a Clark one. I've got another one down there, which is, um, a different make this is a German make down there anyway this is the machine it's not very powerful you don't need really a lot of power if you use the six inch mops so you use a normal bench grinder they call you it says here bench grinder eight inch oh it says eight so the original eight inch uh, uh, wheels on it but I use six there is six inch. so I'm gonna show you look then you take this the things off here the original ones take them off take them apart and then you get them from machine mart or you get them online here this this kind of stuff here where you put all your here this one on anyway so i've got three different mops and i'll show you them three different mops polishing mops One is, if you have a really bad, like this is quite bad, really. Uh, especially if you have a lot of scratches on there. Then I use this one. This is a very hard one. This is the first stage, what I use. I, I put all, always a name on it that I don't mix them up. This is green, I put green on. <laughs> and I put on there whatever the name on of the uh, mop is it's a very hard one very very hard so I use this compound I always put it together that I don't mix it up first stage when you have a really rough one if you have it already kind of shiny or so I go to the second stage straight away or sometimes I even go to the third stage straight away which is here yeah I've, I've got it already on and the third is this one, the yellow one. This is the second one. Also, it's a little bit rougher than the last one. It's a blue, loose mob. Yeah, it's a little bit different than the last one, but a lot finer than this one. Use the blue compound for the last one, of course. The final finish, <laughs> this one is really, really soft so you can feel it is a little bit harder this one is really soft um, and use this yellow 
this is the middle one blue so if you start here with a very uh, uh, um, you know rough one you need to do this as well afterwards and then this and unless you want to have it not that shiny because this brings out the last shine here and this is the final basically I also have a mask which is very important the full mask it covers the whole face safety is important and it's getting really dirty when you use this machine a lot of dust and everything so I'll put this on right so now I'll put it on the machine so I, I use this one as an example as I said it's German silver and see how it goes it's really bad I mean, if you put your fingers on I've got gloves on now but I still can feel it's really rough it's really rough has never ever been polished they told me um, so I'll put it on now and then have a go so I'll use this one first put it on and how I do it I switch it on right now it gets a little bit noisy put the compound on here's the compound and I show you now. So that's the first step looks okay first step now I change them up look how the mop looks like there's a lot of copper on there change them up to the second one which is this one so I'll put them on. the final stage
Right. It's basically done now. All polished. From stage one to stage three. Which is the final stage just for just done. <coughs> you can see all done. Now it needs cleaning. And then this is your item. Um, and then you can plate it whatever you want. But I showed this in another video. Uh, in the next video I put up, I showed how I clean this item because it's very important to clean it very well after polishing all the compound is left there. Um, yeah, and then I show how to silver plate this, even though it's German silver, which is nickel silver, but the customer wants the proper silver plated because it's, it's different. Um, it is different, yeah. Okay, that's it for today. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up and put the bell on. Then you get notification for the next video. I'll post the next video, possible in a week's time or so, which is which the next video will be. You know the follow up on this one. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a good day. Goodbye.